standing on them blocks. Rain cold or if it's hot. In season, out of season, cause we gotta feed the flock. And I ain't never had my pop. My whole life he been all lot. Now I'm just trying to break these curses, keeping these laws until I drop. We came from roaches on the floor. A notice on the door. Baking soda in the jar, but now we focus on the law. It's like soap up in a cloth. The way it's soaking and it wash. It's something like good dope, cause it's potent and I first and foremost, also call Halayim La Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Yahawa Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Barakatab, to the elders who's told us the truth, and to the brothers and sisters on four corners of this planet Earth, Israelites, you know what I'm saying, who, who are standing on these laws, statutes, and commandments, okay, and praying for the hasting of the coming of Yahawash Hamashiach, who you are ignorantly called Jesus Christ. This place get ready to get destroyed. Ah. Give me that, give me that, um, that missile right here. This is a reality right here, huh. people. This is a reality. Okay, whether you hear or forbear. Right. This is a reality. The so-called white man is going to bomb America. Right. Okay. All this moving back and forth, going to the store, getting this, getting that, you know what I'm saying? Ain't, you know, ain't dealing with what's going on in reality. This is reality. Right. Okay? Right. If you don't come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments, y'all gonna have a relationship with this nuclear with the nuclear missile right it's here. Right, right. Thus said the Holy Bible. And that's why we out here. We come here week in and week out. So you know something? Ain't gonna be no excuse no more. None whatsoever. But the Most High has has his people posted up all over this planet Earth. Letting the truth be known. You know what I'm saying? Because before the Most High destroys something, he gonna send his prophets. You know what I'm saying? To warn his people. That's in that city. And that's what's going on today. Okay, tomorrow's not promised no, to nobody. That's what's going on today. Why? Because the Most High hate sin. God. It, it stinks. It smells like garbage to the Most High. Right. You know what I mean? Give me that. Give me that. Um. Give me Sirach. Give me Sirach twelve and six. You give me um. Psalms five and five real quick. But this thing is real right here. You know what I mean? It's a real. It's as real as you know. Say you wake up. You wake up in the morning with your wife laying next to you. That's a real thing. Is. The Most High is not playing no more. So-called Jesus Christ, he's coming back like a lion. He came as a sheep already. You know what I'm saying? He sacrificed himself for some of y'all so-called niggas who don't, don't, don't even care about him. And this is real. How y'all doing today? Hey, you believe in the Bible? Yes. Hey, hey, you, you, hey. You believe in so-called Jesus Christ, right? Yes. Okay, now, you know the scripture says that he died for our sins, right? Yeah, he died for our sins. You know, sin is basically going against the law. So he died so we can get back to the Father by doing what is right. You understand what I'm saying? So basically, my message for you, for you two brothers, should you believe in God, be obedient to what, he, to what God says to you. Do you read the Bible? Oh, but if we don't read the Bible, you need to start. Right. Because, I mean, you see how easy it is for us to come out the house and go down, go to the store and buy and this and that. There's gonna come a time, you know what I'm saying? We're not gonna be able to do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Come on. That's why it's so important for us to come back to the Lord. Because you know something, the Most High is gonna put something on you that water can't wash, wash off. Right. I'm trying to tell you. Natural water is not gonna be able to wash it off you. Only type of water is gonna be able to wash it off you is this word right here. Give me that. Word. Con, this is the book of Sirach, chapter twelve and verse six. For the Most High hate of sinners, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. That's good enough. So the Bible says that the Lord hate sinners. So if you sinning or if you're not doing what the Word of God says do, the Most High don't like you. Okay, now you, you know the story of Noah, right? You know, you know when the Lord the Lord flooded the earth or killed all these people, right? You know why he killed them people? Because they, they because they was they was basically going against 
you know what I'm saying? Brothers. It, was, it was going against it, basically the um, the law, put it like that, the natural law. Okay, it was going against that. And basically, if the Lord, if the Lord loved the people, then why he kill them? You know what I'm saying? So like I said, y'all got flyers, right? Yeah. Okay. What you need to do is, okay, get back to the good graces of the Lord. Start reading that Bible. Okay, start being obedient. It's simple, man. It's simple. See, you know who make it hard? We make it hard because we want to do what we want to do. You understand what I'm saying? You got any questions? Okay. Y'all good. All right? Just remember, man. Do what God said do. Go ahead. All right, now. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 5, verse 5. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Mm. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Okay, so it, it, it's simple, man. I mean... Like I said, we make it hard. You know how we make it hard? We make it hard by listening to people who ain't got no spirit. Ain't got the spirit of God. God. I mean, we need to start reading the Bible. Right. You know what I'm saying? Stop BSing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Look, it, hey, it's all it's hey, it's all gravy right now. It's all good. Sun out, shining. You know, we going doing what we doing. It's all good right now, right, bro? You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, it's all good right now. But there's gonna come a time, sister, where it ain't gonna be this good. You know? Can tell me what you know. You know what I'm saying? Because if I knew what you knew, I'd be walking right next to you. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bring it out. It's the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five, and verse three. For when they shall say peace and safety, mm. then sudden destruction come upon them, right. as travail upon a woman with child. Uh, and they shall not escape. Exactly. Right. Peace and safety. What is peace and safety to somebody who don't read the word? Right. Peace and safety is doing what they doing what they want to do. You know, living their best life. You know what I'm saying? You know, pleasing that flesh. That's peace and safety to them. But according to us, through the spirit, peace and safety is found in the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. You know, we learn that through trial and error. You know what I'm saying? We believe that. You know what I'm saying? We go against the most high. Damn. Damn. That's why my car don't work. That's that's why I got fired. That's why my girl left me. So and so forth. Why? Because we go in against the most high God. Right. He know where to hit you at. Right. He know how to make it hurt. You know what I'm saying? So so the only thing guaranteed in this truth right here, this word of God right here. So we know. We know basically if, if something happens, or let's say if you know, something, something goes against the grain, I let the Most High deal with it. Right. All right. Because I, I, I know the Most High knows where to hit, hit, hit that person at where it hurts. Give me, um, give me Ezekiel, um, second chapter. Oh, you got my Read from one to three. Because you so-called Blacks, Hispanic, Native Americans, the Most High loves you. I mean, the Most High loves Israel. And basically, he wants you to wake up. You know what I'm saying? Come back to your laws, that's your commandments. Right, right. Stop being like you're a pressure. What do you mean? Stop being like you're a pressure? You, you look like him. Right. You smell like him. Right. You know what I'm saying? You eat what he eat. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? John 8 and 44. Start coming back to your nationality. Right. Like I was telling the brother today, you know what I'm saying? You know, once you start knowing who you are, you're going to start dressing like who you are. Yes. You're going to start talking like who you are. And so on and so forth. But right now, you know what I'm saying? We think we Esau. We think we, we think we we think we're the, our oppressor. Okay? And that's the first thing that comes to you comes to our mind. Oh, you mean the white man can't be saved? The first thing that comes to your mind, we got all these other nations that are not gonna be saved either. Con, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter two and verse one. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon our feet. And I will speak unto thee. Verse 2. Stop right there. So the only way the, the Most High is going to speak on, speak to you, you got to stand upon your feet. That's right. right. That's now, right. How, now how the heck you going to stand upon your feet? Listen to Pastor Porkchop. Right. Sister Shrimp Scampi. You know what I'm saying? The house of basic abominable food. How the heck you going to stand upon your feet? Deal with that garbage. Keep it going. Kind of. Book of Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 2. And the spirit entered into me when I spoke, Salaka, when he spoke unto me and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spoke unto me. Verse three, and he said unto me, son of man, I send thee 
to the children of Israel, mm -hmm. to a rebellious nation. Right, hard-headed. Uh, they have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day. So the prophet Ezekiel said, y'all niggas is off the chain. Right, right. right. Y'all want to do what you want to do. Right. It said to this very day. That's why, that's why we got the, we got the weakest man in the world over top of us. Right, right. Why? Because we didn't want to, okay. yeah. We got the weakest man in the world over top of us. Why? Because we don't want to be obedient to this Bible right here. Man, right. look, how easy is it for us to be obedient to God's word? How easy is it? The Lord said, leave that crab alone. Right, right. Leave that shrimp alone. Excuse me, brother, let me ask you one question, right? One question. Slow down. Slow down, bro. It ain't gonna take long. You, you got you got a girl, right? Okay. Now you, you ever took her out to eat lobster, shrimp, you know, dinner like that, right? Okay. Don't you know that you're feeding your girl shit? Right. I'm I'm, I'm keeping it real with you. I know what's going on, but bro, I'm just look, this. I'm telling you this because I love you, bro. Right. I love you, I love your yeah, family. My, my daughter, my girl, they vegans though. Okay, they okay, yeah. all praise to all the most praise, high. All praise. Yeah, yeah. I, I was just making a point. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just making a point. We think we're doing we think we're doing our family some good, right. but we really feed them garbage. Right. Right. You mean to tell me your, your your wife or your daughter, your sister, your mother, or father, whatever, they're better, they're worth more than feeding them garbage. That's right. right. And that's what it is. That's what we're doing. Why? Because we found Esau. We found our slave master. And the only, only way to break that curse is to come back to the Most High God. Right. Only way. Go ahead, bring that out. Come the book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O my power. Yea, thy law is within my heart. Read it again. Come the book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. We teaching the Bible out here. That's right. All y'all say, I love Jesus. Right. We teaching the Bible out here. Right. That's right. You gotta come up here and get some of his oil. Right. You say you love the Lord. Come on up here and get some of his word right here. Right. Even though it's God and all the niggas, I be hanging with it. I can't save you from drowning if we both stuck on the same shit. I don't want to be no blood, that's all they talk about. I don't want to be no blood, that's all they talk about.